So you guys sent me a lot of emails and DMs on Instagram regarding making transparency in LumaFusion. How to make something transparent, how to remove background, and how to basically turn your big projects of animation and just turn that into one transparent layer to be used as an overlay. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down how I deal with massive layers of animation when I am creating my animation inside of LumaFusion and how I turn all the layers into one single layer of transparency to use as overlays for my videos like the lower thirds that you see here on my channel and in this video. Now there is going to be some free lower thirds in this video some brand new lower thirds just a sample of the uh, big pack which is coming soon on robishkvlogs.com uh, just make sure to stick around until the end to find out how you can uh, get a hold of these uh, animations yourself these are optimized so it's basically drag and drop just change the text and drag and drop if you want to do that or you can do the same steps as i show you in this video and then you can you know, get it down to that one layer yourself and uh, apply it to your future projects. And if this is the first time that you are here on this channel, hello and welcome. Really appreciate it to see you popping by. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this in the future. Now with that said, let's head over to the iPad. So the example I'm going to show you in today's video is from our lower thirds pack. This has 50 lower thirds optimized for LumaFusion and you can find all the information down in the description below and on our website if you want to check this out. Now the one we're going to check out in today's video is number three, which also happens to be my favorite. This has my initials and the animated square and also your text and your website. So we're gonna customize this to say subscribe and that would be appreciated before we move over to the next step. So going to the orange one first, we're gonna tap on the text, tap on the square with the pencil inside and we're gonna type, uh, that would be uh, appreciated like that with an exclamation mark at the end. And uh, what we're gonna do now is to go over to the frame and fit here just to see the placement of it. And I want this to be a little bit further down, maybe a little bit more to the right. So I'm gonna go over to titles, down to center X and Y. I'm gonna push this a little bit more to the right and over to frame and fit to see the placement and back to titles and push it a little bit further down. So once I'm happy with that, we can see that we have a customized perfect result for the lower thirds animation here and we can now go over to your text and let's double tap on that go over to uh, frame and fit over to titles here i mean and we're gonna go over to the square with the pencil and type subscribe now we can move back to frame and fit to see the placement and as the other one we need to have this a little bit more to the right so back to titles and go down to center X, push it a little bit more to the right here and check the placement inside of frame and fit. And we can see the placement is good. So I am going to put this a little bit lower towards the other text here. And uh, that looks perfect. So we basically finished up the animation of our lower thirds now. And uh, you can see here at the beginning, we can see the exclamation marks. So there is an easy fix to this by going into cropping on each layer, go to the first keyframe, go one keyframe backwards, and then just change the line of crop. We're gonna do that with the other layer here as well. Over to cropping, first keyframe, one keyframe backwards, and then just change the crop line. So if we scroll through now at the beginning, we can see we have no exclamation marks visible and the, the animation is coming in right here. But we also want this to go in reverse. So we want it to go like this at the end. So the first thing we're gonna do now is to export this at 4K quality, 100 megabits per second. So 4K quality, 100 megabits, and then export. Once the export is complete, we can go over to our uh, videos here and find the exported video, put that over to our timeline, and here we can see that we have the animation. Now, we're gonna go into edit on this and over to speed and reverse, and choose reverse. Once the reverse is complete, we can go back out to our timeline, scrub through to see if we had a successful reverse of the animation. 
Now, this is also 12 seconds long, so we're gonna go on and trim it down when the animation is stopping. So the animation is stopping here. That means from this point and towards the end, we can make some cuts. So I'm gonna make a cut here and delete the other parts here. And the same thing with the other one here. This has the animation stopping around here. So I'm gonna go to this point, make a cut and delete the part in the middle. So now have this around eight seconds and it looks like this. So the next thing we're gonna do now, one more time is to export this at 4K and 100 megabits. And we now have the animation complete. So if we take this layer here and drag over to our timeline, we can see that we have the animation coming in and then it goes back out. So let's move over to a current project that we are working on. We can take the lower thirds file, drag over to our timeline. And once we scrub through here, you can see that the screen is turning black, uh, but we still have the animation which we created. So there's two ways to change the uh, look of this and to remove the black background. Now, one is to use uh, the blending mode screen, which is inside frame and fit, then blending and then blending mode to screen. Now, this may make your animation transparent or has some transparent uh, look to it. As you can see here, we have some transparency to the uh, orange text here, which some might not want. So there is a different way of changing this. But if you have an animation which is completely white, then I suggest using the uh, blend mode screen is the fastest way to go. But if you don't have that, we can always go over to uh, the uh, color and effects here, over to the keyhole, and then we can find Luma key. By applying Luma key, we remove all the dark areas or we can remove the white or the lighter, brighter areas. So going into settings on the Luma key here, we're gonna start by taking the roll off to 100. And as we move the sliders around here, you can see that we remove the orange now. And by taking the other one, you can see that we enhance the orange and we make it less transparent. But there's one adjustment we need to do. We're gonna take the edge blur radius down to zero, and you can now see the animation is looking better already. You can also do uh, erosion distance here to remove the rough edges around the animation. So we're gonna keep that on one and the edge blur radius on zero, and we're gonna keep this top slider here around the middle. So around 50% according to the 100, which is standing here. So now moving out to the timeline, we have the animation coming in like that, and there is no transparency to it at all, and then it disappears. So if we zoom in here, and we go over to the video here, and over to edit, uh, we can also go over to frame and fit now, and we can actually change the placement of this, and we can size it in, we can rotate, we can make it bigger, larger, depending on how you want it to be and uh, you can place it wherever you want. So let's say we want to have it here maybe, or maybe on this corner. So we're gonna place it there. And if we scroll through now, we have the animation coming in and it's looking perfect. Now let's say you want this to be a permanent, transparent lower thirds. You don't want to apply the Luma key effect to it every single time you want to import your lower thirds or your animation to your videos. So we have the Luma key applied to it. It is transparent now. So what we're gonna do now is to take this file right here. I'm gonna place it at the bottom or if you have a empty project, you can just do the render part alone. You don't have to do additional steps here. So we have the animation coming in here right now. Now, since we have applied the Luma key to it, we can go over to export, movie, photos, and we can choose the video codec here with AGVC transparency, but here is the quality only 1080p at maximum. And the video quality here, we're gonna change that to extreme 40. So now we can do the export again. And once the export is complete, let's just reset so we get the uh, clips back here and delete these. Now, this is the one which we made transparent, right? And we also rendered a new one, which is here. I'm gonna take that over to the timeline. And once we scrub through now, we can see that we have the transparent file here. And uh, 
it applies perfectly transparent on top of our video. So the only thing you have to do now, if we go into edit on this, you can see there's no effects applied to this inside of color and effects. We don't have the Luma key applied. So this is completely transparent. Going over to frame and fit, you can now scale this in and you can place it wherever you want to have it inside your video. And if we just place this around here, and do a playback here, you can see that we have the animation here coming in at the top left corner. Fully transparent and drag and drop ready to go. Here we have an existing project with a lot of different stuff going on. And I want to have, let's say my logo thirds right here. So what I can do now is to simply take the rendered alpha file or the transparent logo thirds, place here. And once I scrub through here, you can see that the logo thirds is coming in perfectly transparent and is creating a really awesome look and a professional look to your video. Now there you have a couple of ways of making things transparent in LumaFusion, especially when you make some lower thirds animation or if you just make some box animation or whatever you throw at the timeline. Now blend mode, of course, the easiest uh, with white animation, but you can always, you know, save uh, the Luma key uh, as an effect if you don't want to render it and, uh, you know, have the drag and drop method. If you just want to, you know, have the 4K instead of double rendering again from 4K down to 1080p, uh, and have the transparent if you want to have the full quality of 4k you can make a preset once you apply the the luma key effect you can just save it and the next time you apply the rendered animation which has the black background as we've gone through in this video then you can apply the luma key and you will still have your 4k animation. So that's also another way of doing it. So in the beginning of the video, I mentioned some free lower thirds as well. The password has been hidden in this video and I assume that you found the password. It's a little bit easier this time and you can find everything down in the description below. Just take the password and go to the link in the description, type in the password and you can download the samples. This is samples from a whole new line of lower thirds, which is coming soon along with a remake of a lot of transitions to make it easier for or more sort of a, a drag and drop style of editing. Now, I really hope that you enjoyed this video as well. And uh, if you are new here, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated if you did so. Check out robeshkevlogs.com if you wanna see some presets and take a look at the presets that we have available for Luma Fusion as well. And uh, with that said, that's the end of the video. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Make sure to comment what you think of this video down below. And uh, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.